Spurs, remember there are multiple ways to win. We'll see you back here this Monday night. Bye, everybody. From the station that's on your side, this is News 12, NBC 26 at 11. Well, travelers scrambling to get home as countries around the world put up restrictions after news of a new COVID variant. And some health experts warn it could already be in the U.S. But first of all, many headed out to shop at big box stores yesterday. Today was the national push to get people shopping local for the holidays. And right here at home was a shop small crawl hosted downtown. Our Celeste Springer spoke to local business owners and shoppers about the efforts to get dollars in local bank accounts. Filled with leftovers from Thanksgiving, shoppers scurried downtown to get ready for the next holiday, Christmas. Today's event was meant to give your mom and pop an opportunity to buy gifts from mom and pop stores. When you see them, they recognize your face. You know, it's just a much more personal experience. So I think that that's part of the charm of, you know, shopping small is getting to know the people who are, you know, who run these businesses. Jessica Netzler was one of the many that headed out to downtown small business Saturday crawl. And when we say many, we really mean many. Augusta & Co. handed out these tote bags to the first 200 shoppers. They were all gone within the hour. Freshwater Design was one of the participating stores. This is their first holiday season in their new storefront. We actually are one of the businesses that kind of blossomed during COVID. Um, and in October of last year is when we hired our first employees and by March of this year, or February of this year, we had to move into a space. Happy for the rush of business to their brick and mortar store today. Oh my gosh, like yeah, exceeded, exceeded. We're, you know, we've had a line since 10 a.m. and that's so cool. The beeping hasn't stopped with the register. The Shop Small event definitely brought in the crowds, including myself. I went shopping too, but there's also something in it for everyone who went shopping. For each store you stopped at, like myself, I stopped at one, two, three. I filled out one of these, and what it does is it enters me for a chance to win a giant prize packet. So besides supporting local small business, you're also getting something maybe at the end of the day for yourself, too. People want to get out, they want to shop small, they want to support their um, local community. You develop a relationship with these people. Downtown bustled with the building of those relationships. People eager to open their wallets. Stores open for business. Celeste Springer, on your side. Such a great event there, and if you missed today's event, no worries. These businesses are sticking around and happy to serve you even when it's not Small Business Saturday. Off Martin Luther King, the community came together to support small businesses in their neighborhoods today. A local small business is hoping to set up a permanent marketplace for small vendors and businesses to set up. One organizer we spoke to emphasized that when you shop local, you help more than just the community, you help out the families that own those businesses. We don't have anything here, especially in this area. And as a person that was in this area, always in this area, we need to have businesses, we need to see our small businesses, we need our community to be better. So why not bring it here? Why not have a Christmas tree lighting? Why not? Morgan says every business in every community should have the chance to sell at their marketplace. They're located at the corner of Martin Luther King Boulevard in Olive Road, across the street from Christ Centered Outreach Ministry. Just so nice to see so many people out yeah. there today supporting all these local oh, businesses. Oh yeah, absolutely. Been, yeah, we, a long we've time. been talking about since the start of yeah. the pandemic. These places need help, and what a good day to do it too, man. Yeah. A little yeah. cold, but we've kind of got nice. Yeah, a little, little, little chilly to start. You know, we had temperatures into the 20s, but they quickly warmed up into the 50s, and you know, eventually warming. The upper 30s inside of Bobby Jones, getting into the mid 30s as you're waking up tomorrow morning and heading off to church. The Richmond County Sheriff's Office says a man suspected of shooting a woman at an Augusta apartment complex was arrested in Oklahoma today. Janera Godinez was wanted in connection to a shooting at the Spring House Apartments yesterday morning. That's right across the street from the Sam's Club on Bobby Jones. One woman was taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. More countries in Europe are finding cases of the new COVID variant. Health officials here in the U.S. are monitoring the latest updates as it spreads across other parts of the world. The World Health Organization named the new variant Omicron. Michael George has the latest from New York. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the new COVID-19 variant identified just a few days ago in South Africa may already be in the U.S. I would not be surprised if it is. We have not detected it yet, but when you have a virus 
that is showing this degree of transmissibility and you're already having travel related cases that they've noted in Israel and Belgium and in other places. Health officials want to determine if the Omicron variant makes people more ill than the predominant Delta strain and whether vaccines will remain as effective. Uh, there are about 30 mutations in the spike protein and about 10 mutations are on the edge of the spike protein which allows the virus to attach to the body and that might make it stickier and make it look different enough so that antibodies from the vaccine or from natural immunity don't recognize it. After two Omicron cases were detected in the UK, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson tightened rules on mask wearing in public and testing for international arrivals. Our scientists are learning more hour by hour and it does appear that Omicron spreads very rapidly and can be spread between people who are double vaccinated. As more countries announce travel restrictions on southern Africa, airports like Amsterdam's Schiphol are seeing crowds scrambling to get to their destination. The U.S. will restrict visitors from South Africa and seven other countries in the region starting Monday. Michael George, CBS News, New York. South African scientists say they're about two weeks away from knowing how effective vaccines are against this new variant. And both Moderna and Pfizer say they can quickly adjust their vaccines if necessary. At least 52 people are dead after a Siberian coal mine fire appears to have started from a gas leak. About 280 people were down in the mines Thursday when that fire broke out. A rescue attempt had to be suspended after officials said there was too much at risk of a second explosion. A Russian investigative committee says they're looking to see if there are any safety violations. Dozens of miners still in the hospital. The first night of Hanukkah started.